So what we're trying to do here is basically chat with AI about legacy code bases, right? Because the thing about a lot of uh, tech projects is that sometimes developers may come and go. So the people who implemented or wrote in certain logic may not be there to explain things anymore. Um, and sometimes it's also an act, uh, uh, challenge with accents, right? So what I've done is essentially um, ingested all the JSON uh, pertinent to this Azure Data Factory into Deep Lake so as to generate embeddings and make sense of it for our chatbot, right? So you can ask this chatbot any question about this particular deployment. The whole idea is to be able to add in more and more of such code bases or factories in the future. Um, and it's kind of like taking a while because uh, I think what, what really what turns out to be really interesting about JSON files is that they are actually pretty long in token length and pretty hard to kind of like um, index over. So I think the subsequent uh, optimizations will really be dealing with how do we better make sense of JSON data, right? So for instance, now I can also ask this, uh, this chatbot, how do I update the GHQ file? So we have recently gotten a new new version of the file that we want to use so that um, we can update all the other pipelines and uh, you know start to match any new entries that may have came in. So um, how do we locate this in the entire deployment? Now that is actually something we can ask of this uh, AI. Yeah. So uh, let's see what it comes back with. And I think again. This really solves a lot of problem for onboarding and making sense of um, making sense of uh, existing or legacy code bases. And again, it serves as a knowledge base even as you switch out developers or even development teams for the matter. So um, that's the end of my demo of uh, Arthur for you.